Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 2 of our Pro Stitcher Designer video training series. Today we're going to concentrate on the tools menu. So we've uh, by default the software opens up in the home tab. So we're now going to click on tools. The first set of tools we're going to work with are in the draw section here which is the pencil, line, curve, bezier and arc. The first tool we're going to use is the pencil tool left mouse to click to select it. When you bring your cursor onto the work area, it will now have the shape of a pencil. So you're now going to write your name in cursive script. So left mouse click and hold the mouse key down and start to create your name. Oh dear. Okay, when you release the mouse key, you'll see that your pencil is still attached to the last node by a dotted line. Right mouse click to end that function. My pencil is still active, which means I can, can keep using it. And as you'll notice in my name, I've got T's and I's. So now I'm going to come across and I'm going to left mouse click and hold and put in the cross on my T. Now I will right mouse click. I'm going to do the dot on my eye. Left mouse click and hold and draw the circle. Release the mouse key and right mouse click. Now I'll left mouse click and drag to create my next bar on my T. Right mouse click. Left mouse click and hold and draw the next circle. Left mouse click and release. And then right mouse click to finish. Now I've completely finished writing my name with the pencil tool. So now I need to finish that function totally. So I'm going to come over to my select tool in the quick access toolbar and click on that. Or I could simply press Q on my keyboard. So there is my name written. Okay, I think we might need to do some editing. So what I'm going to do is come down and I'm actually going to click on the line of my main part of my name to select it. Now remember in the previous lesson when we did the settings, I set up the bright green as my highlight colour. And this is what I'm seeing now. So now I need to start to edit the shape of my lettering. So I'm going to come over in the quick access toolbar and select shape or press E on my keyboard. Now that we're in shape mode, you'll notice that we've got a purple line and lots of blue dots. Each of these blue dots is called a node. You'll also notice at the start point is a green dot and at the end is your red dot. So now we're going to manipulate some of these nodes so you can see how you can smooth out your curves or create straight lines. To demonstrate this, I'm now going to zoom in around this area here. So I'm going to come over and select my navigator tab and I'm going to use the slider bar and I'm going to slide in, in towards the middle and then I'm going to move the hand pan hand across to the bottom curve of my L. Now you can see in more detail the actual nodes. So I've got a few nodes here that I probably don't need quite so many of. So I'm actually going to delete this one here. So to delete them, you can left mouse click to select it. And then you can right mouse click and go delete point. The other way you can delete a point, and we might say delete this point here, is you can select it, left mouse click to select, and then you can press delete on your keyboard. Now you can see how this has become quite a sharp curve. So what we're going to do is smooth it out. So we can go left mouse click to select the middle one, right mouse click, and then I've got four line types, line, cusp, smooth, or symmetrical. I'm going to smooth this one out. And as I smooth it out, you can see now that the little anchor points on either side of that particular node have become longer. And I can manipulate these together. So I can create a smoother or a oblong shape. You'll also notice that the end of each opposite node you get an anchor point as well. So then you can play with those in conjunction with each of the lines to smooth them out. 
Now let's reposition our zoom window. So I'm going to come in to my little blue square, left mouse click, and now I'm going to move it over so I can see the top of my two T's. This time we're going to straighten out the top of my T's. So if I left mouse click on this one to select it, and then I am going to right mouse click, and then I'm going to create what I call a cusp. Now with creating a cusp, what it does is it actually allows you to independently move both of the um, little anchor points. Whereas remember in the smooth one, when I moved one, it moved the other one in the opposite direction. So now I have them in both. So I'm just going to bring them down and smooth out. So I get a point at the top of my T. Another way to get a sharp point is we'll come across to my second T. I'm going to right mouse click on this one at the top and then I'm going to make it a line. Now when I make it a line, okay, it has no anchor points. So it's a straight into the node and a straight out of the node. So that's the difference between a cusp and a line point. Now again, I'm going to move over to my navigation window and I'm going to pan down and position over my A. So the tool we're going to have a look at now is the symmetrical tool. So what I want to do is smooth out or, uh, my A. So I'm going to select this node down here and then I'm going to right mouse click and symmetrical. And then I'll do the same. I might pull this one out a little bit more. Now notice that the um, anchors on this one, I've got a short one here and a long one here, which is a smooth anchor point. But it means as I move them, I can make one longer or shorter than the other. When I right mouse click and select symmetrical, it now makes both anchor points exactly the same length, whether I move them in or out. So that's what your symmetrical does for you. Okay, so now that we've finished having a play with the different type of pencil and line tools, what we're going to do is open a new file. But before I do that, I just want to show you a couple of options for getting your screen back into full screen. If you've got a roller ball on your mouse, you can roll it one way and zoom in, or you can roll it the other way and zoom out. But by far the quickest way is if you want to see your full design is just to press the space bar on your keyboard and then that will return your design to full screen. Really, really quick and easy. What we're going to do now is we're going to open up a new worksheet. So to do that, there's one of two ways. You can come up to the Home tab and click New or you can put Control and N on your keyboard and that will open up a new worksheet for you. So in this instance, because I went to the Home tab, I now need to return to the Tools tab. Now I'm going to select the Line tool. When you bring your cursor onto the workspace, it has now got a little plus sign with a diagonal line. Now you just simply left mouse click around the screen where you want your lines to be positioned. When you finish with that line, you can then right mouse click. And then what I'm going to do is come up to my ruler. I'm going to right mouse click on the ruler and I'm going to select snap to grid. Now when I left mouse click, it is going to attach itself onto a grid exactly on the join of the lines. This is a fantastic way to get exactly straight placement when you're doing lines for squares or anything like that. So when I finish that, I will right mouse click and then I'm going to press Q on my keyboard to select that item and the tool is finished. So now I've finished with the line tool, I'm going to open a new worksheet. So what I'm going to do in this instance, I'm going to go Control N on my keyboard, or I could go up to the Home tab and then select the new icon from there. But by using the keyboard shortcut, it leaves me on the Tools um, menu system, which is great. Now to select the Curve tool. Once I've selected the Curve tool and I bring my cursor onto the workspace, I've now got the little plus sign with a little curve symbol beside it. 
So now I'm just going to left mouse click and then I'm going to left mouse click again. And when I do that, I've got, oh my goodness, I've got a straight line and I asked for a curve. But it's not until I place the third left mouse click that I get the curve. And as I place each one, it now becomes a curve around the system. So if I right mouse click that one, now because I had snapped to grid left on, you can see that it's snapped to each grid point. So I'm going to come back up onto the onto the ruler and I'm going to take snap to grid off. The tool's still active, so now I'm not adhering to every single point and I can get a nice smooth curve if I space my nodes out far enough. So again, when I finish with the tool, right mouse click and then Q to select. So that's how we use the curve tool. So again, we're going to open a new worksheet. So go Control N on your keyboard and we have our next worksheet ready. This time we're going to select the Bezier curve. So left mouse to click to select and then when we bring the cursor onto the work area, we've also got a little plus sign with a little eye with eyelashes. Now I'm going to come back up to the ruler, right mouse click and I'm going to put snap to grid on. I'm going to position my cursor on one of the major blue grid line intersections and left mouse click and release. I'm now going to go diagonally across two and up two and left mouse click. I'm now going to come down two and across two and left mouse click. And now I've got perfectly straight lines. So how does this tool work? So now I'm going to come across two and up two. And this time I'm going to left mouse click, but hold the mouse key down. And as I move the little nodes or stretch them out, I now get a curved line. And I'm going to just widen it out by one grid and release the mouse key. Now I'm going to come down two and across two, left mouse click and hold, and drag out one grid line. Then I'm going to come across two, up two, left mouse click and hold and drag out maybe oh, two times. So you can see that this will increase or decrease the amount of curve in the line. So on this one I'm going to come down to cross two and I'm going to left mouse click and drag but this time I'm going to change the angle by moving the line. So in this case I want to bring it up to smooth out the edges I can then bring that in or I can make it shallower or a steeper curve depending on what I want to do. So I'm going to release the mouse key and then I'm going to right mouse click. So the Bezier curve is probably the most accurate of the drawing tools but it does take a bit of practice to use but it can save you so much time in editing once you get a knowledge of how to use the tool. Have fun and have lots of practice. Remember to open a new worksheet, I'm going to press Ctrl and N on my keyboard. Now we're going to select the Arc tool, which is the last tool in the Draw section. I'm going to come down into my grid area and where I have a major intersection of the blue grid lines, I'm going to do a left mouse click. I have my little tail. I'm now going to come across to and down to, left mouse click. I'm then going to go across two to the left and down to and left mouse click. It's not until I get this third point on the screen that it will actually create the curve. And now to remember the count is that the first, the last point here becomes the first point of the next ones. So this is number one. Now I'm going to go across two to the left and up two. So this becomes point number two. And then I'm going to come back to where we started, which is now going to become point three and right mouse click. And now I've completed a complete circle. The next one I'm going to show you is I'm going to come across here onto a major intersection again, left mouse click. And then I'm going to go up one, left mouse click down one and across, left mouse click, 
down one and across left mouse click and up left mouse click. So again, the count will be, and if you happen to make a mistake, and we can all do it, we can get a bit click happy. Oh dear, I put that in the wrong space. So then you can use your backspace key on your keyboard to remove your unwanted nodes. So let's start that again. So I've got my first three nodes on. So now I remember the count as two, three, two, three, two, three and right mouse click. So now I've got a perfectly symmetrical curve up and down. The other thing you can do is you can come in and left mouse click and we can create a spiral. So you can come out and down, out and down, and then you can just keep clicking around to create a spiral. So just remember your count. Two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, and right mouse click. So it's a lovely tool to use and it's probably the most used tool that I use in the repertoire of the draw section. This concludes episode number two. I hope you enjoyed it. Our next episode number three will include how to use the shapes and artwork, playing with text and auto digitizing. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now.